Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So I changed the color balance again because I just can't seem to get it right. But I did get in a few things. Um, Ulta had sent out like the 20% off prestige coupon, which is always a great time to browse. I had enough points to get $125. And for those who don't know, one of the best ways to use your points at, at Ulta is to wait until you have 2000 points and then stack it with a 20% off prestige coupon because then you basically can buy over $125 worth of stuff for $0. So I was going to use some of the products today they're not all going to match nor do I have enough to constitute a full face uh, I mostly wanted to use these Lancome Edol tints I have been lusting after these for a while now and I also wanted to maybe use some stuff from the 21 days of beauty haul that I like I still haven't used so um, for those who don't know I have not filmed in a really long time and it was completely unintentional Jackson got pancreatitis which then spiraled into a whole lot of other problems um, I, I very nearly, I was on the cusp of considering sending him to the ER because I didn't know if he was going to improve or not, like I just couldn't get him to eat, so he's been on a lot of supportive care. So far I've been able to do all the supportive care here at home. He hasn't needed to go to the hospital, but it was always in the back of my head. I think he's slowly starting to improve, but it's going to be a very long road, so I've just been very, very busy. I've not been getting much sleep. Um, thank you guys for understanding if I seem a little bit frazzled or if I seem a little bit tired or if I seem a little bit dead on the inside. I am tired but I have been having to really just muster up all the energy I can manage so that I can work on Jackson's case and, and I think I think we're doing I think we're doing okay. Oh the other thing I got that I have been really really definitely interested in trying was this Bobbi Brown stick so I think I am definitely going to use this in some capacity as well. So it wasn't a really big haul object wise because you know you get like five high-end things and suddenly it's like $500 on the receipt. So it wasn't like a big haul like object wise but I got you know I got enough things that I think I'm happy with what I got. To start off with I'm going to just use this the Alba spray serum. Don't get it in your eyes. That's not a good idea. I did put on skincare earlier today. I did wash my hair, which is why my hair is so frizzy. And then I am going to take some under eye primer. My Sephora order has not arrived yet. It is um, Sephora orders during sale time. Do really like to take their jolly old time shipping. Okay, and then I'm going to use my Rare Beauty under eye corrector. I feel like I've, I've had like this rash on my across my face and I feel like I'm still seeing remnants of it. Um, so I've been experimenting with using a brush for my foundation and I know I used to say that I can't do brushes because they um, they like irritate my skin but I was watching Nikki LaRose and I noticed that the brush she uses to apply her foundation is not the same as the kinds of brushes I thought you were supposed to use. Like I thought you were supposed to use like the kabuki ones or like the dense ones but she always goes for ones that are a little bit more like domed and then she kind of just stipples it on gently. So I tried that once and I really liked the result. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Suku sample. This is the foundation in the shade 205. I do really like it. It actually does have pretty high coverage and I this is the one I've been practicing with the brush so I'm just gonna use it again. So I just like pick up a giant glob and then I just use it at the back of my hand to disperse it across the bristles a little bit more evenly. And then I just start kind of lightly tapping it down. It does take me a lot longer if I use a sponge. Sorry, if I like, if the mirror shows up, I go out of focus. And of course, naturally, I do like to fade it out as I get towards the outer perimeter of my face because I don't really need as much coverage there and it kind of preserves the dimension a little bit. And 
and then I just take whatever's left on the brush onto my forehead because my bangs are gonna my bangs are gonna cover it anyways. And then I do once I'm done, I do like to take a lightly misted sponge that I missed with a setting spray, and I'm just going to use this to make sure that there are no visible brush strokes and to pull off any excess product. Because sometimes I do tend to use a little too much foundation when I use a brush and since unlike a sponge, a brush won't soak up anything, I just make sure I use the sponge to just remove what is not adhered to my skin. And the Fix Plus also just helps make sure it all looks nice and blended. Alright, for concealer, I'm going to go in with my JX Professional Triple Concealer. There's always something nice about using like a brand new concealer. I also don't know if I really like using this Dialga Spray under foundation because I feel like this is like the a bazillionth time that I've used it and it's caused my foundation to break up slightly so so I am probably not going to use this under my makeup anymore I feel like it just really makes my foundation just not stick to my skin very well I don't really understand the videos where people were using it as like a setting spray I feel like it would just make your makeup break up <laughs> Okay, so the AC just turned on, so if there's a lot of background noise, I do apologize, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some powder because my skin is just mm, it's not looking that great. Um, before I do that, I am gonna go ahead and use one of my new Fenty contour sticks. So as you can see, I got three shades. These are I like all three of these. I am really, really bummed that these are no longer magnetic. I noticed when they arrived, they don't stick to each other anymore. And the very first iteration of these used to be magnetic so that if you had multiple, they would stick to each other, which I thought was really, really convenient and kind of fun. But they are just a very cheap light plastic now. They don't stick together anymore. I'm really bummed about that, so just FYI, I guess. I'm gonna go in with Soft Amber. I believe this is meant to be even lighter than Amber, which is like the OG really, 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 really cool toned. So. I love how it looks when it's bright, shiny, and new. And the way that I've always liked to apply these is to just push it onto a brush. Yeah, this is such a light color. And I do really like using light colors because I'm very prone to over applying bronzer and contour and over applying either of those can really screw up your makeup. Okay, and then I'm going to use it, I'm gonna take it on my nose and I'm just gonna use the stick this time. It does feel creamier. I wonder if I could actually just put it on my face now directly. This shade is a little bit warm. I don't know if I'd use this to contour my nose actually, but it was worth trying. I'm gonna use my flower nose. It's like overexposed. Okay, there. I'm gonna use my flower nose um, setting powder. I don't know if this is still available anymore, which is kind of a bummer because this is a really nice powder. I feel like I have whenever I have days where my foundation is just not looking good, I can just kind of use this powder and it will to some extent remedy the situation. I've had worse foundation days for sure in recent times, but this is not a good day. Not a, not my worst day, but this is not a good foundation day. I feel like I have some crusty bits on my skin that you can really see, especially right here. I think I, um, I'm still learning how to adjust the amount I use when I use a brush, but yeah. I also do really need to shave my face. Just so that I have a little bit of hydration, I'm gonna use setting spray. I really like the mister on this one, it's really nice. I don't know where I put my Patrick Toffee in, I think it's been downstairs and I just forgot to ever bring it up. Okay, I'm gonna quickly do my eyebrows. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be back because I am already at the 27 mark filming because that is how slow I am tonight and how like, indecisive I'm being so I'm just gonna do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll be back to start on the eyeshadow so thanks for understanding okay so my eyebrows are on a little bit heavily drawn because I did use my pomade in a pencil which I'm just trying to use up at this point and I am not gonna rebuy or anything like that so it's all right today's makeup is going to look exceedingly mediocre and you know what I'm okay with that like it could really just it could be so much worse so as I continue my foray into the land of liquid shadows I am going to be using these two and I'm also going to see how I can incorporate this as well I was also wondering I know this is like super big for eyeshadow but if I'm just laying down the shadow all over this BK Beauty and Angie hot and flashy brush which is meant for concealer might actually work really really well for me to just get a general lay down that doesn't feel uneven so this is the Edol eye tint in the shade 07 I really loved all the shades 
and supposedly you can use these on your cheeks too um, but I got two because obviously like just because I like one doesn't mean I'm gonna like like I need to figure out if I like it first right um, as you can see it has such a thin doe foot it reminds me of the YSL applicators so I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep it across it said that it's like you know being an eye tint it did say that the it does make me think the pigmentation is gonna be on the softer side of things so we'll see and given that I want this to be like a base I'm just gonna try using this big old brush and see what I can get Okay, I think I put on too much. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like less pigmented. And it's okay that it's not going all the way down to my lash line. I am going to put the Bobbi Brown like right here. I didn't put down any eye primer because I figured that this could be the primer, right? I'm going to put on this much. <laughs> I seriously thought the pigmentation would be more sheer based on the marketing. But I guess I should have known. It's a liquid shadow. And I'm just tapping. I'm not swiping because I don't, you know, eyelids are fragile and I don't want to... I don't want to push on my skin too much. And I'm just going to put on a little bit more because I do need to make sure that both sides are even. So of course the outer corner is super rough but I will probably go in with a matte shadow and touch that up later. So not super symmetrical yet, but we're getting there. I feel like though, because of the fact that especially with this eyelid, I've got like wrinkles, you can kind of see that it's catching in my wrinkles. I also feel like if you do apply a second layer, you can see where I applied layer two, but I wasn't able to fully blend it out. So you can kind of still see where I initially laid it down. I'm kind of curious to see what happens if I use my finger. It almost feels like maybe there's a little too much like silicones in it. Like it almost has a little too much of a smooth smoothness to it. So it kind of is not really sticking down. So I definitely will try this over an eye primer later. Okay, so my first impression of this project product is that I am feeling kind of a don't meet your heroes moment. <laughs> I feel like it's just not looking super great. And okay, I know I'm a beginner at liquid shadows, but I didn't get this from the Armani eye tint, okay? But I will continue playing around with it. I mean, my first, like the first layer using this brush before I tried to touch it again and then I ruined it, my first layer looked all right, so. I am now just gonna go ahead and go into my Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Liner Stick. You can see that it has the chubby tip. So I'm going to, I'm gonna use it glides on nicely. I'm not getting any real tugging. And let's see how much working time I get with this. Ooh, these don't really want to blend at all. Wow. You can see that demonstration for yourself. It really does not want to blend out. I would say less of a stick shadow, more of a stick eyeliner. Which, um, I, I don't mind that it doesn't blend out because I actually, the reason I got this shade is because it is the dark, cool brown that I've been looking for. Like, I've been looking for an eyeliner of this shade and I could not find one that I liked the formula of. So I'm very happy that I got this shade. So the fact that it doesn't work as a stick shadow, I actually don't care. I just was curious to see if it would even work or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig into an eyeshadow. Like, I'm just gonna go ahead and use some powder shadows and I'm going to fix that. And currently a lot of my makeup is kind of all over the place because I have finally reassembled my barrister and my desk, so my eyeshadows are just like floating around everywhere. So I'm just going to use my Kaja Beauty Bento. I'm gonna use this in the shade Chocolate Dahlia. I'm gonna use this middle shade, I think. So I'm gonna take a really tiny brush And then I am gonna go into the darker shade and use this even closer to the eyeliner. I'd say if you are willing to like, you know, acknowledge that you are gonna have to use eyeshadow in conjunction with the product, I think the Bobbi Brown long wear liner stick could actually work as a base for a makeup look. You just have to be a, like willing to acknowledge that it is going to require powder shadow later. I'm able to blend out eyeshadow on top of it really really easily. It's working out really well.
Okay, so it's still not quite salvaged yet. I think we still have a long way to go, but it's looking a little bit better than where it was. And now I am very scared to use this shade, but I really wanna try using this on my inner corner. I'll try putting it like maybe like up there. I'm gonna use this smaller synthetic brush. I'll try and keep it away from where I have put all the powder shadow. I'm gonna stamp it onto the brush and I'm gonna try and just like apply it up here. Hmm, you know what? I'll just take it to the inner corner. Yeah, I think I will go over it with something else that's brighter. The shimmer one definitely looks better, but I have heard it is easier to make shimmer liquid, li liquid shadows because they're a lot more forgiving. Like, it's easier to make them look good. I feel like though, as I was putting it on, it was kind of taking off the matte shade underneath though. Like this matte shade underneath just is not wanting to stick to my eyelid at all. And I, you know, it could be that it's a, it's a my skin problem because I've definitely had that happen, but it's definitely not something I'm usually used to encountering at the same time. Like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I'm gonna use a smaller brush so that I can use this same shade. This is shade 02, sorry, I forgot to say. And I'm gonna use the same shade on my lower lash line. I definitely need to go in with some other powder shadows of some kind because this is not working. I'm going to bust out my Natasha Denona Mini Zendo palette. The two matte shades in this palette will be of use to me. I'm also going to introduce it to the outer corner. Take the lightest shade and just kind of tap it over the entire thing to kind of add some smoothness. Blend out the outer corner. It just is going to make it look softer because like I'm just going to, there's no going back from the fact that this look is going to be, have basically very little shape to it. So I'm just going to lean into that and at least make sure the edges are blended. I think I'm going to need to use powder foundation on this eye as well. So I I forgot, I, I like didn't realize it had hit half an hour. I took glitter puck and as you can see, I used it to jazz up my look a little bit so that it looks a little bit less awful. So that is what I did. I got let down. I really, I was, I was gonna cheer for these. I was so hyped up for these and I got let down. But why do I still want to get more shades? Because they're so pretty looking. I'm gonna have to continue to play around with these. I don't know what went wrong with this, but my first impression of these is super ick. But glitter puck as usual comes in to save the day and of course, you know, all the other shadows I had to pull in. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my blush really quickly, my blush and my highlighter, and then I'm gonna do my mascara and then I'll do the lips because I just want to have something go right in my life for once today. So I, um, I have not used these yet. I had been meaning to, but I'm going to be using the MAC Powder Blush in Full of Wonder. This was like a hybrid of a New Year's and a Valentine's collection. So you can see the dragon scales, but you can also see the hearts. It's really cute. I forget that MAC blushes can actually have quite a bit of pigment to them sometimes. I think this has a little glow to it. I feel like I'm gonna put the Lancome Edol shadow bunching up on my eyelids. I'm gonna put that in my thumbnail as like a little corner cut so you guys can see it before you click on the video what kind of like BS you're getting yourself into. Okay, yeah, this I thought this blush was gonna be matte, but it actually, you can see how it has a very slight glow to it. I don't know, I felt like it, it didn't really wanna blend, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Love Scene from Tom Ford because I need to fix this and this is the blush that will do it. I 
I am just gonna go ahead and stick with my Tom Ford pile and I'm gonna go in with Rose Iris A as my highlighter. I am feeling very discouraged by this makeup look right now so I'm just gonna use something that makes me happy. If you hear a lot of the background noise in my audio, that's just the, odd, the, my, the AC. There's really not much I can do about it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara off camera and then I'll be back and I will pick out a lipstick and I will just finish off this whatever this is. Okay, so I thought my eyelashes had grown back but they're still not really looking that great. Um, I don't know, if you guys watched my Odin's Eyes videos, I don't know what was going on but my lashes looked so good I thought they would stay like that. And now they're back to being awful. I also felt like I wasn't really quite able to curl them at all. I don't know. I Plus I think my mascara is drying out. Holica Holica one, I think it's drying out again. I don't know. I I keep trying to rehydrate it with Duraline to varying degrees of success. I also do need to like get a new bang roller. My bangs are flat. I do think that a little bit of this in the outer corner might help a little bit. Like specifically, I think if I take it like right here. I think that helps a little bit with adding some depth to the outer corner of my look. I try, if I do want to put something on my like waterline, I try to keep it to that edge you see here. I really try to make sure it's not actually touching my cornea. I really, I try to keep it really close to the um, eyelashes, especially because I do have dry eyes and I don't want to do anything that could damage my eyes further. So I really do, that's why you very, if I even if I use like colors on my waterline and I even if I bring it all the way across I really try my best to keep it like tucked up against my eyelashes plus I will go ahead and use this on the inner corner I'm going to use the Romand lip liner in Dovey Pink got crushed I must have not rolled it all the way down and it, it got like a little bit busted on the tip oops My lips are like a little bit kind of purple today. Um, I'm not sure why. It's a really weird color and I don't like it. So that's why I'm gonna be putting lip liner further into my lips than normal. Okay, so I feel like given that this look is more red and warm, I don't feel like this is going to work with it. I want to distract from like how bad everything else looks, right? So I'm gonna have to go with something a little bit more bright and warm so that it can maybe distract a little bit from the rest of this disaster. Oh, and I do know that Romand released a new um, spring collection. I do want to get it because my last video where I reviewed the spring collection did pretty well and people really liked it. I like Roman, so I do plan on picking it up soon. Okay, this is 12 and Shirley from the Zero Velvet line. I don't actually know if this shade is still available anymore, but I'm gonna use this. You can tell, this is a very bright shade. This should help kind of draw some attention away from the rest of my look. You know what is really weird is that my lips are so purple, it's kind of showing through this tint and making it look weird. Okay, so you can kind of tell that even with this lip tint on, the blue and purple is kind of popping through and making it look a really weird color. So I do apologize. I don't know why my lips decided to look like I've been in the pool for too long today, but my lips are so, so purple blue right now. And um, I mean, I feel like crap too, so I'm sure the two are related, but... I'm just gonna call this makeup look done because I think I am about like ready to check out because I don't really know what else to do with this makeup look. I also don't know why my hair likes to grow like this. I mean, could someone explain? <laughs> I don't like when products go that badly. Like, it's like, do I, was it me that was the problem? Or was it the product? Yeah, I don't, I don't really have much else to say, so I do apologize for my makeup look turning out kind of a mess. Blame these. I'll keep messing around with them. Probably the best product that I used today is the Bobbi Brown. And I definitely think I will eventually go back and buy more shades, but as of right now, most of them did sell out, so I, I am evidently not the only one who thought that these were a good idea to try. So, so far, but of course I'll have to see 
I'll have to do a wear test of this later eventually because this being an eyeliner, it will be no good to me if it doesn't wear, so. So if you made it to the end and you are watching despite me looking like a clown right now, this is my take on a I am trying makeup new to me video and it went terribly. <laughs> that is why I don't do these videos very often, but thank you guys for watching if you made it this far. And I will see you guys in the next video. Maybe, hopefully. Let me know in the comments. If you have used these, please tell me how it went. I would love to know if I'm doing something wrong. I would love to know because I want to like these. I really did want to like these. I was rooting for these. Take care and bye bye